Okay, so in the last video, uh, what we did was we, we had a logic circuit and we created a truth table. Uh, in this video, we're going to do something slightly different. Uh, and what we've got this time is we've got a logic statement. And from that logic statement that we've got here, uh, we're going to create a logic diagram. Okay, now before we do that, a logic circuit, sorry. So before we do that, what I thought we'd do is just uh, revise some basics of truth table. So uh, I'm going to draw a truth table here, and we're going to start with that AND gate. Okay, now we know that an AND gate has uh, two inputs. So we'll say input A and input B, and it has one output. Okay, so uh, if we say that A is off and B is off, so they're both off, then the output from an AND gate will be off. Here's our first one. Uh, and then if we say that A is on and B is off, then the output from an AND gate will be off. Okay, uh, and if we reverse that, so if we say that A is off and B is on, then the output will be off. And then the final combination of, uh, of inputs uh, is to say, well, what happens if A is on and B is on? Well, if A is on and B is on, we know that our output will be on. Okay, so there's the truth table for an AND gate. So while we're doing that, let's, have a, let's do another one and let's do the truth table for an AND or gate okay uh, so we'll put that in there now let me just say the way I remember the AND gate is I say um, it's only on when one and the other is on that's how I remember it okay so we'll have a look at an OR gate so again we're going to do an OR gate and uh, again that's got two inputs so that's got input A and input B and it's got one output Okay, so what we're going to do, we'll start again like we did before. So what happens if A is off and B is off? Well, if A is off and B is off, our output is off. Uh, now, what happens if A is on and B is off? Uh, well, this time, because it's an OR gate, the output will be on. Okay, so we're going to put on there. Uh, what happens if we reverse those? What happens if we, says, uh, if we say that uh, A is off and uh, B is on? And again, the output will be on. Uh, and then we've got finally, we're going to finish with what happens if they're both on? So if A is on and B is on, well, actually, if, if they're both on, the output will be on. Okay, and like the AND gate, the way I remember the OR gate is I say uh, one or the other or both. Okay, so one or the other or both uh, is how we work it out. The final one we'll do then before we start uh, to work out our logic circuit from our statement is we'll do a truth table for a NOT gate. Okay, now this one's a little bit different only because uh, this time uh, we just have one input. So this time we're just going to have input A uh, and we're going to have one output. And so we can put... Uh, so if our input is off, then actually our output will be on. And if our input is on, then our output will be off. Okay, so it's just the inverse. Uh, so if it's off, it's on. If it's on, it's off. Okay, so now what we're going to do then is we're going to try and draw this logic circuit. Okay, so if you're in the exam, I think the thing to do to start with is to underline or highlight the gates that are mentioned in the statement. Okay, so uh, we've got one here. We've got an OR gate. Okay, uh, we've got an AND here. We've got another AND over here. Uh, and we've got a NOT. And we've got a knot. Okay, now by doing that first, that kind of tells me how many gates I'm probably going to need. So I'm probably going to need uh, five gates, right? which I can use as a way to check if I've got the answer correct at the end. Um, okay, so what I now do, uh, this is the way I do it. You'll have to come up with your own approach. But what I now do uh, is I start with the one in the middle. Okay, because I've got... Uh, two statements in brackets on, on uh, one on either side, and then in the middle I've got an or state, uh, an or gate. So I know that x going into x is going to be an or gate. Okay, now an or gate looks like a Star Trek badge. There we go. All right, and we know that an or gate has two inputs. Okay, so there's a good place to start. So now what I'm going to do is I just need to decide which side I want to start on. I'm going to start. I'm going to go with the left side. All right, and again, I, I, I go to the middle. So I know if I go to the middle of the left side, I know that going into one side of my OR gate is going to be a 
AND gate. Now an AND gate is just a D. There we go. All right. Now if you're not very good at drawing, or you're worried about making sure that your gates are recognisable by the examiner, then maybe all you need to do is just write inside it, just to make sure that the examiner is certain about what you're doing. Okay, so we've got an AND gate. Now if we look on one side of the AND gate, we've got L is not 1. So what we're going to do with L is we're going to put it through a NOT gate. Now a NOT gate is a triangle, just like that, with a little circle on the end, and that's going to go into my AND gate. Okay, now what goes in the other side of my AND gate, because we know it has two inputs, well, we know that F goes into the end. That's what it says there. So we're just going to run that from there into there. Okay, so that's that side. So we've done the left side, we've done the middle, and now we'll start on the right side. So again, I'm going to start in the middle, and we've got another AND gate. Okay, so I'm going to take this line back from here, and we're going to draw another D. Okay, and we're going to put AND there. And there we go. All right, now what goes into our AND gate? So we know, we've, again, we know we've got two inputs. So on one side it says F is not 1. So we're going to have F, and that's going to go through a NOT gate. So that's a triangle with a circle, like so. And what goes in the other side? We've just got A is 1, so we're just going to run a wire from A into the AND gate. Okay, uh, and that's our circuit complete. Now, we can kind of check if it's correct, because here we said we thought we needed five gates. Uh, well, have we got five gates? We've got our, our knots, we've got so that's two, uh, we've got these two, that's four, and that's five.